Hi, we're Lynn and Rowan, and thanks for watching this video presentation of the property. Well, hi folks, and welcome. Now, it's my privilege to show you through number four Claude Street in West End. So, uh, there's many, many things to, um, to make me feel this way about this property. Um, and firstly, it's located on the foothills of Castle Hill there. So we're tucked away um, just off Stagpole Street, but just there's hardly any passing traffic and it's just a fabulous spot. Very, very private. And it's made more private by the fact that these gardens have been planted um, by the current owners over the years. And they've just made this into just a fabulous little sanctuary. So I'm just showing you the front gardens here. Now there's many, many native plants built, uh, planted into the, into the yard, which obviously attract lots of birds and butterflies um, to the home. Uh, and there's this lovely paved front walk to the stairs. There's also a, a double high clearance carport to the, to the left of the home. And there's just so much to explore. So we know for a fact that it was moved here from Chartist Towers in 1940. Uh, as far as when it was originally built, we're thinking early 1900s, and it has been improved over the years and, and extended and, and added to, and loved most importantly. So there's so much to see, and I'll talk you through some of the features as we go. So at the top of the, uh, the stairs there where we've just come up we're on this l-shaped veranda now to the left that door actually leads into the master bedroom there's the front door to the home and I'm just going to quickly tuck around this side so that you can see this fabulous veranda now we're mid-afternoon at the moment and the breezes are just fabulous it's um there's air conditioning throughout the home as well but the, certainly the breezes that come through here are very very lovely lots of traditional Queensland features. It is a quarter acre block and it's built in underneath as well um, with some rumpus areas downstairs. But when I first entered the home, this was the room that I came in that just made me feel wow. So it's got the pressed metal ceilings. You've got your picture rails and some feature paint there as well. Beautiful timber floors silky oak French doors that have been brought back to, um, to timber. There's uh, some stained glass here, which was done by a local designer uh, many years ago. These owners have had the property uh, since the 1990s. So it's been in the family and the only reason that you're getting the opportunity to, um, to take ownership of it is that work is taking them south. So um, it's certainly one that you, you should come and have a look at and enjoy. So you can see this master bedroom has also got that beautiful detail on the pressed metal ceilings there as well. This room is huge. So it's actually, um, it's almost a double size. It has got an ensuite as well. Uh, so this is the, the master bedroom. And that there is the door that leads back out to that veranda. I'll just quickly open that up so that you can see. So that just takes you back out to that veranda there. Beautiful hor horizontal tongue and groove um, walls internally. And you can just see those gorgeous high ceilings in that pressed metal and a really, really good sized room. Uh, there's lots of mod cons with this one as well, which is good. You've got an ensuite here for the master bedroom. So the toilet is there. It's done in a heritage style with your, your basin, mirror, and you shower at the end there. There is a ceiling fan on the roof there as well. Have a look at the floor plans so that you can see the layout of the home, but it's, I guess, one of the good things about it is not, you don't have that situation where one room leads through another room to another room. Uh, there's certainly some definition within the home. Uh, it's also got, well, there's three bathrooms in total. Um, so that ensuite, there's a bathroom downstairs and then the main bathroom. We've got a five kilowatt solar panel system as well. So that's got 28 panels. Um, and that's just looking back into that fabulous room there. There's a few wow factors within this one. That's one of mine but there's plenty more. Now off this living area, we go to um, a hallway 
which takes us into the, uh, the main bathroom. Now it's done in a heritage style and again it's a really really lovely feature of the home. It's filled with natural light because there is a skylight on the, um, on the ceiling there as well. You can see those tongue and groove walls. There's the clawfoot tub, your heritage style tiles. There's a timber vanity with marble top there and the basin inside, mirror, and then you've got your shower separate as well. And there is a toilet tucked behind there also. So that's your, um, that's your main bathroom and that um, services the other two bedrooms in here. So once we get through this hallway, and you will see these gorgeous uh, coloured glass all the way through as well, casement windows, timber louvers. Now, at the end of that hallway there, we have this activity room. It could be study, it could be rumpus room, lounge room. If you wanted another bedroom, you could even close that off and make it another bedroom with the halls to the other, the other two rooms in this area. But you'll just see, it's just all these lovely Queenslander features are just fabulous. This is another of the uh, three bedrooms. So this one's on the front corner of the home and you'll see now there are fly screens on these louvers here as well, which is, um, which is a real bonus. Quite often you'll see these homes and they don't have the fly screens. Those louvers are definitely um, covered with the insect screens there. And then you've got casement windows on that side there. Now there's no fly screens on that side, but those, um, there are those casement windows there. And this is a fabulous size room as well. Split system air conditioner up above, as you can see there, ceiling fans, and just a really good size room. So these, these folks, um, their kids grew up here. They've had a lovely time here. They're sad to be going, but um, you know, work can sometimes take you to another part of life. So uh, there's these clear glass um, frames here as well. So they, they, this, um, just stable there, they don't open, um, but that brings some light through this space as well. Another of the bedrooms. So this is bedroom number three, and it's a mirror image on the opposite end of the house here. So with those casements, with the screened louvers, and again, a terrific size. We've got some chunky furniture in here, and there's still plenty of room within. Again, a split system air conditioner, and lots of lovely natural light. There's another big split system air conditioner there as well. So the home is certainly cooled very well. It's a feature light within this hallway here as well. And the home is also MBN ready. So as well as being traditionally um, good with the Queenslander features, there is all of those mod cons, including the MBN. Just off to the left here, we've got a little study room now high ceilings those gorgeous um, colored glass casement windows and the louvers there as well so that's just got a little desk in here it's certainly a spot where you could do some study no problem and one of my other favorite rooms within the home is this one here so this is just fabulous I think this one's got to be experienced in real life rather than trying to do it on a video, but that'll give you an idea of what the home opens up to. So we've got the kitchen here. Now it's got a solid timber uh, bench top. There is a dishwasher, really good bench space there, and that serves into that dining, dining room that you can see. There's double sinks and there's a gas stove there as well. And that door there opens back up to that beautiful veranda. Okay, so you can see that there's plenty of room here for fridges and freezers. There's another big split system air conditioner there and you've got your tracking light here as well. And just all of those beautiful louvers. Now in this room, so where you can see those railings below, there's actually, that's all screened there, um, but there's actually some shutters that come up as well to close that off. Um, if you have a look in on the photos online, there's a photo that's taken from across the pool. You'll see those shutters um, up, but that's what they look like down. And from there, you can obviously get a really good view of the, um, of the swimming pool as well. 
Now, it, with the swimming pool, there's been a new pool pump and filter put in. The dishwasher in the um, kitchen is new, and there's a couple of new um, air, air conditioners as well. We've got gas hot water system. The pool has been fully certified as well. Uh, and we've got this gorgeous quarter acre block. So there's so much to enjoy uh, about this home. It's certainly uh, one that should be pulling at your heartstrings by now. So um, obviously we're gonna be doing private inspections and open houses on it. Because there's just so much to see when you actually come through the home. Uh, as far as location, anyone that knows West End in Townsville will know it's close to Castletown, it's close to the Strand, it's close to the CBD. There's not much that it isn't close to. Um, you can get onto Ingham Road and onto the Ring Road from here as well. And that's just the, uh, the laundry, the internal laundry here. So I think at st some stage this was the bathroom. Uh, and there's the gorgeous windows, again, that bring light into the home, but also give a gorgeous view out to that pool there. So there's some slate on the floor here uh, as well. And what we're going to do now is actually go downstairs, but I'm just going to give you one more quick look at that beautiful room there. Beautiful polished timber floors throughout, as you can see. Those high ceilings are, are fabulous as well. But everywhere you look, for, especially from that kitchen and out, out of those louvers, if you're not looking at the pool, you're looking at the beautiful lush gardens. And they really have taken some time to plant the gardens with, um, you know, bird attracting uh, plants as well. There's, I've seen sunbirds here today. There's kingfishers. There's, you know, um, kookaburras, lorikeets, sunbirds, fig birds, all sorts of things that, um, that come and visit. And why wouldn't you when you can lounge around in this gorgeous oasis. So there's not a lot of mowing here. The front yard has got some grass, but it's it's been planted. They've been very much uh, mindful of trying to produce a, um, a drought proof garden. And you can see by the lushness of it uh, and the water restrictions that we're on, they really have achieved that. There's lots of composting and mulching that's been going on over the years, which has certainly helped to do that. And looking back to the pool there and up to Castle Hill. So you'll see how private it is. This, the quarter acre block is, is just full of areas to sit and enjoy. There's some link walls around. Uh, and I just want to show you the size of that pool there. I just saw an, a Ulysses butterfly before and I think there's a few Cairns bird wings around as well. But there's certainly beautiful shade around so the pool's got that shade cloth cover on it as well but you can just see it's got entry uh, step entry from both ends there and it's um, finished off in that terracotta surrounds and that's just looking back to this beautiful home so it's been painted in your um, heritage colors and you can see to the left there where i was talking about those railings the um the shutters are down there but that actually they come up to so that they look like the panel that's just near the back of the stairs fly screens certainly help um with with any any queenslander because it's not often that you get them with the fly screens in so that's a, that is certainly a um a bonus and it means you can leave those windows and doors open and collect those beautiful breezes that come through so that path there, I'll just take you for a quick look around there now. So you can see these gardens are just, there's paths winding through the gardens as well. This is the high clearance carport, okay? So that's been added onto the home. Uh, it's all got council approval and everything like that. Uh, it's all paved on the ground there. Now this is also, it's great for storing caravans and boats and cars and that sort of thing, but it's also been the venue for, um, for these, this family's kids 18th birthdays and that sort of thing as well so it's a bit of a dual purpose and that's just looking back there on the wall over there you can see the air conditioner compressors but there's also the um the solar panel workings the systems there as well okay so as we go through um now i don't know if i mentioned but that pool is salt water 
as well. So the pill pump and the, the filter and everything has includes the, the chlorinator. And this is moving into um, underneath the house here. So there's good height. Um, and I'll just um, see if I can just kind of bring it on here. I may not be able to. Right, let's have a look. So that just gives you an idea. This is all secure in here. Um, it's been used as bike storage. It's also been used as workshop space. And there is the, um, the pill filter all under cover and covered as well. Okay. So just one more thing to show you down here. Um, there is the gas hot water system is there. There's gas for the uh, for the stoves around to the other side there. But this area here, we'll just step down into it. This is a fantastic entertainment area, rumpus room. Uh, they've got it set up with a ten table tennis table at the moment. There is an air conditioner here as well. This is all tiled off. And it's a great spot if people come to stay. There's certainly a spot that you can put them um, to have their own space. It includes a bathroom, so you can see that there's a toilet there, there is a vanity, there's some storage space there as well, and a nice big deep Roman bath that you can step up into, and there's a shower over as well. So as you can imagine, there's um, been plenty of living done here. It's, um, it's certainly got lots of spaces and different things for, for you to enjoy. And this is um, just another room here that's got the, um, a built-in cupboard. Look, you could use this as a guest room, a teenager's retreat. There's certainly um, plenty of uses for it. And this is all lockable under here as well, obviously. So there, there, is, um, there are many reasons for you to come and view this, this home, folks. I'm sure it's going to be popular. Um, if only for the location, it, there is so much more. Um, but on the foothills of Castle Hill here, tucked away, very private, very quiet. You wouldn't even know that it's here. Um, Claude Street is one of those streets. It just kind of, it just appears off uh, Stagpole Street. And um, yeah, it's a real delight. So there's been a fair bit of information given to you there about the property, but nothing will match you actually coming to, to have a look at it. I hope I've explained some of the features for you. I hope I've whet your appetite for you to come and have a, a, a closer look at it. I am sure that there's a family out there that's going to fall in love and take this property on and enjoy it for as many years as, as the current owners have. There's um, someone who loves the garden, someone who loves Queenslanders, but likes the mod cons as well. You just can't go past such a lovely property. So we will do open houses on it. We will do private inspections. I encourage you to come and have a look sooner rather than later, because I think that this is one that is certainly going to be very popular and I don't believe that we're going to be with it for very long. So thanks for taking the time to look at this video and we look forward to meeting you and showing you through. So if you're looking to buy or planning to sell, please give us a call today. We'd love to help you.